Hello, my friends. Nice to see you at the second lesson about making tablecloth shantai. I will check. Do you see me and hear me? So we start lesson number two about next three rows. So such beautiful tablecloths we are uh, making here during this uh, live lessons. And at the first lesson we uh, just made first two, um, yes, two rows. Uh, now we will talk about row number three, four, and next five. It's very small. All this information about this uh, tablecloth you can find in our free crochet patterns group. There you will find schemes and also uh, you can find uh, first results, you can find different photos, so it's really great. And I will show you now just a few seconds how you can join and uh, how looks this group. So this is our group. Free crochet patterns by Jetty House Crochet School. This is the name. Uh, you need to join to our group after how to find all necessary schemes. Uh, press photos after choose albums. And now everything is very easy because each album is about one scheme, about one, uh, about one motif, about project, or maybe sometimes about beautiful lace. So you will find something you like. For example, our beautiful Shantai, yes, tablecloth and here you can download schemes step by step I will add schemes and also you can watch for first results like you can see now first results yes uh, we can say I like it great <laughs> also once again a beautiful result and uh, uh, was made by Sarah Evans and the first one I don't know how to read this, but you are watching live this uh, workshop, so thank you so much for your work and for your presentation. I will wait for new rows. And uh, one more time, just uh, if you will see all these photos and albums, you can see that we have here a lot of beautiful uh, schemes, yes? Just press this button at the bottom and you will see a lot of albums with beautiful elements and you can choose each element, download scheme and uh, work with this scheme at your home. So it's really convenient to find something beautiful for your next crochet projects. Okay, so this is, was our group. Uh, now about our tablecloths, what I'm using for it. So I like to use very thin threads to make delicate laces uh, because uh, my technique is to join individual elements, yes, or to make beautiful uh, laces, but from very tender, very thin thread, and I like this result. I like to make crochet dresses, blouses, tablecloths, and uh, this is my style. And um, that's why I found during all my, yes, work, uh, during all these years, I found uh, the perfect thread for my crochet projects. It's Italian viscose, it's very thin, and I have such bobbins, yes, and also cons. And and also you can find this thread in our JT House yarn store. Also uh, all links you can find below this video on YouTube channel, yes, you can find them and use each uh, link uh, to free crochet patterns group, uh, to yes, to this yarn store, um, also to our live chat on Facebook where you can ask me anything, you can ask some advices, you can ask about maybe you don't understand something, so all links you can find below this video. Great, so about this you already know. And uh, now about, um, yes, stitches. Uh, in this crochet project, uh, project, we used really difficult stitches uh, because they are really long. Uh, we need to join them and uh, this all, um, yes, combination of stitches is really interesting. And uh, also I am using my favorite steel hook in size 1.75 millimeters. It's like my favorite crochet hook. I made all my collections by one crochet hook. <laughs> so it's like magic uh, crochet hook. And uh, next, um, yes, like I told you, 1.75 millimeters or 2 millimeters is the most yes, popular stitches for my crochet projects. And these uh, crochet hooks, uh, they are good for my threads that I am using all the time, Italian viscose. And needle with big eye, because each time we need to hide few tails if you are making such projects, yes. Uh, and now we can continue to talk about our tablecloths. So today we will make uh, three rows. We will start from this beautiful row with 
such interesting parts, corners, this one. Uh, this is row number three, and now step by step we will make it. By using not so good scheme, but don't worry, we will talk about all ski stitches. You will know how many chain loops, how many stitches you need to, to make and how to make them. So let's talk about the third row. Uh, what we have, uh, we finish it at one point uh, by treble crochet in previous lesson and now we need to start. Uh, for just uh, for this beginning we need to make first, uh, let me see, six chain loops. I try to make it now. Five chain loops, okay. Five chain loops here. After uh, you need to make uh, this stitch with three times yarn over, double treble crochet and after again uh, five chain loops and next we have a big stitch with six times yarn over next when you will make during the work on this stage you need to start one more stage double treble crochet after you will finish this one and only after this you will make the last top part of this interesting big stage uh, from here we will make six chain loops i think and next we will have this stage also start from uh, stage with five times yarn over next during the work we have also two double treble crochet here and uh, next we have six chain loops and start to make this beautiful leaf. For this leaf we will use a lot of stitches. We start from really big stitch with seven times yarn over and go to the top where we have only one stitch with one time yarn over, double crochet. Next move down. At the other side the biggest stitch has only six times yarn over, not seven. And we will finish this beautiful leaf and next go, yes, and make six chain loops. Everything is great, so we can start to work now. I will prepare my working place, just show you my hands. For my work, it's our tablecloth. Today we will make such row with these beautiful leaves. And I'm using uh, such Italian viscose, just another color I'm using. Beautiful golden, yes, gold color. And it's Sapphire Lux, it has um, 500 meters and 100 grams such skin and we have beautiful colors I think uh, maybe 40 or 50 colors different at our Jetty House yarn store the name of this yarn is Sapphire Lux and uh, this is firm Salon it's Italian viscous 100 percent and we have such beautiful really beautiful colors and even multicolored threads you see it's very it's so interesting because you can work make few elements and one can be light pink, next intensive pink and join by such thread and you will get beautiful result. Love those colors. Thank you so much, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so uh, now let's work. And like I told you, you can iron this part that we already made and uh, in this way everything will be much more easy. You will see clearly everything and uh, will be great to make next rows. So now I hope you will work with me. Hi, hi Yolanta from Linda and hi Linda from Yolanta. <laughs> great. So, so we, st uh, we will start from this point where we have already uh, this treble crochet. And uh, now, let me see what we have on the scheme. The five chain loops to move up. So just, you need to make five chain loops. Two, three, four, five. Uh, five chain loops to move up. Uh, next, uh, three times yarn over. One, two, three. And we need to join to the middle. And uh, you can join, uh, yes, around the chain, or you can uh, choose direct point if you want to, uh, yes, just to fix this stitch at the at one point, yes, and receive beautiful lace. And I try a few variants and what can I say, we can work just around maybe, will be easy, more easy for, for us to work. I will check once again, yes. So three times yarn over and after 
uh, you need to insert hook at this area, around this area and make just very accurate this double treble crochet ok uh, now again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 chain loops and after again, uh, not again, we, we should make stitch with 6 times yarn over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 very close to the top of the hook and we will start from the same area, around the same arch make this long stitch but just make 3 times 1, 2, 3, like this from here make again 1, 2, 3 times yarn over and go and make around the next arch double treble crochet 1, 2, 3 now join together these stitches yes, and make one more yarn over and after finish to make this big stitch I think I made everything together we should make it longer so it should be like you need to just uh, draw thread through only two loops on your hook join together a few stitches and after continue to make this long stitch in this way you will have the same length okay I like it, it to my TV <laughs> Link it, link it, sorry. So you, you just uh, are watching on TV, great. <laughs> Linda also like it. It and uh, okay, now we have 16 loops, I think. Yes. Let me see just from another part of scheme. Uh, 16 loops, so it's easy. Make it accurate slowly. 3, 4, 5 and 6. Uh, next, uh, we will make this interesting stitch starting from 5 times yarn over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 just make it this all threads close to the top of the hook and now we will join to the cup yes, to the first stitch of this previous stitches to the first one, below 2 threads and start to make yes, this long one time yarn over go through these two loops three times next from here we need to make three times yarn over insert to the same point and make double treble crochet and again three times yarn over and from the same point start to make double treble crochet and now we can join everything together yeah? or without this one we thread together next two and two and finish to make the stitch don't worry we will see this, this once again just I need to make it step by step and once again I will show you everything now six times uh, 16 loops one two three four five six 16 loops and after we will make uh, this beautiful leaf start from 7 times yarn over 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 make this all threads very close to the top of the hook insert hook below 2 threads to the middle stitch of previous row and just make this long stitch each time draw thread through 2 loops on your hook 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and finish the stitch ok, next uh, we should make six times yarn over one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, very close to the top of the hook, and I will insert hook to the first part where we made this yes yarn over just draw thread through two loops to this first area. Insert hook to the middle, below two threads in my case, and very accurate start to make this beautiful long stitch, not too loose. Just very careful and draw thread through two loops on your hook okay now five times yarn over three four five and again insert hook to the first part of this new stitch below two threads and make stitch with five times yarn over really long and you should make it not too loosely and just very accurate 
Okay. Now four times yarn over three, four, and again. Start from this beginning and finish to make the stitch. Next one, two, three times yarn over. Again, insert hook to this first part of stitch and to make double treble crochet. Uh, don't worry if you don't understand something. Uh, we will make this first part after we will have the same. So <laughs> you, I hope you will understand how to do this. So we have seven times yarn over six, five, four, three. Now treble crochet two times yarn over. Insert hook to, again to the first part where we have this yes first area at the new stitch. Insert below two threads and just make treble crochet. Uh, next, uh, just uh, double crochet, I think, yes. One time yarn over and make this middle stitch. Again, insert uh, hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make double crochet. After we will work with this side and everything is very simple now, we just, we will use the same points at our, this beautiful line. We have already, yes, stitches so we know where to insert the hook so let's work first time will be double crochet make yarn over insert hook to the same point where we have the last stitch to the same point insert hook and make double crochet after Let me see, uh, we will have treble crochet, Do double crochet again, okay, double crochet again, so one time yarn over, insert hook to the second point where we have this stitch, yes, to the next one, just you can see this hole, insert hook below two threads. I see comment Linda, love this part, <laughs> great. Now two times yarn over and next we'll make treble crochet to the next point. Yes, this one. Insert here and make treble crochet. Okay. Uh, now double treble crochet, three times yarn over. Insert hook to the next point. Here we have and make just standard stitch. Double treble crochet. After four times yarn over, three, four. Insert hook to the next point and make stitch with four times yarn over. Now five times yarn over. Now we need to check how many stitches we have to be sure that everything is okay. <laughs> because it's not so easy uh, to count everything here. And we should make six stitches. Middle one and six stitches at the other side. So everything is okay, I hope. So I show you how to make this all stitches and this leaf we have at the corners. Uh, what I feel, you should make it not too tight, it's very important because they will stay very close to the top and we will not have such beautiful, yes, a little bit loosely. But if you will make it too loose, you will have really long uh, like uh, threads and big holes and everything will be um, not so, so yes, you will not see the nice shape of this all work. I did not realize how much I missed this lesson. Oh, Susan, thank you so much. <laughs> it's right. From Linda, thank you so much. So nice to hear. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. It's not so easy. Table clothes for me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six chain loops. We continue to work. 
and next we have the same like we did before so I will uh, try to make it slowly we start from five times yarn over one two three four five make them close to the top of the hook now we will use the last stitch that we have at this cup at the previous row so insert hook below two threads to the last stitch like this start to make this stitch very accurate not to lose make loop Next, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook. Again, yarn over and draw two loops on your hook. And once again, three times, yes? From this distance, we start to make double treble crochet two times. So one, two, three times yarn over. Insert hook to the same point. Start to make double treble crochet. But don't finish the stitch. Yes, leave like this. Next, one, two, three times yarn over insert hook to the same point make loop and start to make this double treble crochet uh, so again don't finish the stitch just in the end draw a thread through two uh, three loops on your hook just through three loops on your hook next yarn over and draw thread through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw thread through two loops and again two loops so this is our corner Yes, interesting combination of stitches, also beautiful leaf. And from here we will make now next part. And we will do this part not like we did before, because before we started from chain loops, because we cannot make it from bottom a really big stitch, we need to move up. That's why in this moment we will have something again, a new, new part. So six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Uh, now we will work, so start from six times here and over. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make close to the top of the hook, this all loops. Now around next arch, just insert hook like this below. Make yarn over and make loop. Now start to make this long stitch. Draw thread through two loops on your hook. One time, second time, third time. Now stop and, and uh, start to make double treble crochet so three times yarn over go to this next arch around this arch make a double treble crochet okay now we have such two parts yes the same length a yarn over and draw only through two loops on your hook like this now yarn over and draw through two loops and all the time through two loops once and once again I think we don't need to finish this part yes we should leave like this uh, two loops on the hook I think uh, next we will start to make the same six times yarn over three four five six go around the same arch where we just work it and again make yarn over make a loop and like this yarn over draw through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw thread through two loops and again through two loops from this point start to make double treble crochet so three times yarn over go around next arch and make standard double treble crochet but don't finish the stitch like this you have two parts at the same length yarn over and draw thread through two, only two loops that you have on your hook Next, yarn over and draw threads for two loops again. Two loops, two loops. It's too loosely for me, I think, now. It's not so good, but you can do this better. <laughs> I don't like this part because uh, in this variant we should uh, make a, a lot of, yes, long stitches and without finishing them. So, it's better. Ne next part I will try to make better. Uh, we should make uh, we should be careful very very careful in this part here you, everything should be more tight not so loose next we should make six chain loops one two three four five six and again uh, we will work at the corner so here we need to make first five times yarn over close to the top of the hook in this way everything will be more beautiful not so loose like in this point and start to make long stitch so first time draw threads for two loops second time and third time 
Now start to make double treble crochet. So three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet. Okay, don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops, again through two loops and again. In this way I, I like this variant because if you will make it too loose you will have the same like we have here, very yes long loops and looks not good. If you will work very accurate and place all this yarn over very close to the top of your hook, this all top uh, loops will stay very small, they will not stretch too much like this. So very, be very careful with this part. Now six loops, one, two, three, four, five, six loops. And now we start to make this beautiful leaf. So seven times, three, four, five, six, seven times yarn over. Be very careful, make them very close to the top of the hook. Now insert hook to the middle stitch below two threads and start to make this long stitch, really long. Step by step, just yarn over, draw thread through two loops on your hook each time and just make it really slow and accurate. Okay, I finished to make this stitch, everything looks great, we can continue to work. Now six times yarn over, three, four, five, six, make very close to the top of the hook, this all threads, insert hook to the first part where we just work it, yes, here we just draw thread through two loops and now here we need to insert the hook below two threads and start to make this long stitch with six times yarn over. Okay, everything is great, we can continue to work. Now five times yarn over, make them very close to the top of the hook. Again, take this bottom part of our last stitch, insert hook to the middle and just insert below two threads. Yarn over, make the loop and now just step by step do like this, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook and repeat the same all the time. Slowly, accurate and be careful with these long stitches. Now four times yarn over, again insert hook to the bottom part below two threads, like this, to the middle of this stitch and make this beautiful stitch. Now three times yarn over we will make double treble crochet now, again find bottom part of this uh, last stitch insert hook below two threads and start to make a double treble crochet. Now two times yarn over make treble crochet, insert hook to the previous stitch, to the bottom part of the stitch below two threads and make just standard treble crochet. Now one time yarn over make the middle stitch, this will be double crochet, insert again hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make a double crochet. Okay, now we go to the other side, start from double crochet. So one time yarn over, insert hook to the same point where we made previous stitch and make double crochet. After one time yarn over, one more double crochet I will make to the next stitch. A treble crochet we should make. I will look once again. In the bottom we should have five times yarn over, so five, four, three, two, one. One is okay for this part. So once again, one time yarn over to the next point, insert hook and make double crochet. After two times yarn over, to the next point in insert hook below two threads and make treble crochet. Now three times yarn over, to the next point insert hook and make double treble crochet. Now four times yarn over,
and make long stitch. Five times yarn over. We should have here six times, I think, five yarn over. At the next corner, I will check again. Okay, <laughs> it's not so easy work, really. Next six chain loops, three, four, five, six chain loops. Now again, we will make these stitches and I will try to make this part better this time. So, we, this uh, chain should be not too tight. It's also very important because uh, we should receive a beautiful square shape. Uh, yes, and if you will make too tight these chains, uh, this this all will look really terrible and uh, will turn to the center. So make this chain chain loops very slowly and accurate. Four, five, six. Uh, now six times yarn over. Four, five, six. My mistake was I didn't make this all loops very close to the top of the hook. That's why I have had problems. So now around next arch start to make long stitch. So yarn over, draw thread through two loops, again through two loops and again two loops. From this point make three times yarn over and go around next arch and make also double treble crochet. So we have two parts at the same length. Yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook, again two, two, and fi uh, just finish here. From this point we start to make the same. Just don't finish the stitch, uh, leave two loops on your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six times yarn over. Very close to the top of your hook, make all this work. Now around the same arch, where we already have one stitch, start to make new one and just draw thread through two loops three times one two three next three times yarn over start to make double treble crochet around next arch okay slowly make this stitch again we have two stitches as the same, with the same length yarn over and draw thread through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops Again and again. In the end we have three loops yes, on the hook, join them together by one thread. This time I like it more, this top part. It's, it's not so loose and everything looks better. So now six chain loops, two, three, four, five, six. Now with this part I will try to understand how many stitches I need to make uh, in this leaf and uh, the length of the stitches this time. So, three, four, five times yarn over. Make them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to this stitch of previous row below two threads. Yarn over, make loop. Now yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Again, through two loops and two loops. In this moment start to make first double treble crochet. So three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet. But don't finish the stitch like this. One, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make a double treble crochet, but again don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and finish to make the stitch. Now six times yarn over. One, sorry, six chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now again this beautiful leaf. I need to find out how to make it right. Four, five, six, seven. Seven times yarn over. Make them very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle stitch of previous row below two threads. Now start to make this long stitch. Just draw thread through two loops on your hook each time. And finish to make the stitch. Now six times yarn over, five, six. Again close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the bottom part of this big stitch to the middle below two threads. And start to make new stitch. The principles are the same. Next, three, four, five times yarn over, close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the middle of bottom part 
below two threads and start to make the stitch. Now four times yarn over three four. Insert hook again to the bottom part of this stitch and make yes this long stitch. Now double treble crochet three times yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom stitch of previous stitch yes bottom part and make a double treble crochet. Now two times yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch and make treble crochet. Now double crochet, one time yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part below two threads and make double crochet. Uh, now I want to understand where I made mistake because my last stitches in previous leaves uh, uh, just uh, they have only five times yarn over and I think we should have here six times yarn over. I will check this, uh, the scheme. Yes. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's see. If, you, if we will make uh, to this point, and how many stitches once again? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so uh, this, uh, the middle one is like stitch number 7. 3 and 3, 6. Next we will have to this point, yes. 6 times yarn over, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, to this top point, we just need to make a double crochet once again to the same point. But after this, we should make treble crochet to the next point, not a double crochet. So, 2 times yarn over and make treble crochet to the next point. 3 times yarn over and make stage to the next point. Now four times yarn over and make to the next point new stage with four times yarn over. Next one, two, three, four, five times yarn over and make to the next point this long stage. And the last stage will be this time right with six times yarn over three, four, five, six make close to the top of the hook, insert to the last point and make... I see you need to do a treble now. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. I just make mistakes. Sorry for this, but it's really not too easy to work with such scheme. So now everything is perfect. We have necessary stitches, necessary lengths, and you can see now how it should be. The last should be with six times yarn over. Okay, next six chain loops, three, four, five, six. And now we will work with this stitch of previous row and we should make five times yarn over, close to the top of the hook and insert below two threads. Make three times like this, draw thread through two loops. Now three times yarn over and make double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. One, two, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over, draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook and again through two loops on your hook and finish to make this interesting stitch. Now six chain loops, three, four, five, six. Now we will make the same difficult part. Start from six times yarn over. One, two, three, six times yarn over, very close to the top of the hook. Okay. Now insert hook around next arch and start to make long stitch. Yarn over, draw thread through two loops on your hook, yarn over, draw thread through two loops and again through two loops. Now start to make double treble crochet. One, two, three times yarn over, around next arch insert hook below and start to make double treble crochet. Now we have two parts like this. Yarn over and draw thread through two loops on your hook. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops and again. You should uh, leave, yes, 
You should have two loops on your hook in this moment, and from here we will start to make the same. So six times yarn over three, four, five, six, close to the top of the hook, that's all loops should be, and around the same arch make this first part of big stitch. Make a loop, next yarn over, and draw threads through two loops, again through two loops, and again. Now start to make a double treble crochet, one, two, three times yarn over, around next arch make double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. So we have two parts like this, the same length, yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, again two loops, and like this, till you reach to the top. Now I have three loops on my hook, yarn over, and join them together by one thread. Now six loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, now start to make an uh, interesting stitch, yes, the last corner we have, so five times yarn over, make close to the top of the hook, very close, and take this stitch of previous row, insert hook below two threads, and start to make this long stitch, one, two, three, stop here, and start to make double treble crochet, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make a double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again, three times yarn over and start to make new stitch. Uh, now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops and two loops. We have like this result. And uh, now start to make the last leaf, six, six chain loops, three, four, five, six, Six, seven times yarn over, four, five, six, seven. Very close to the top of the hook, this all work. Insert hook to the middle stitch of previous row and very accurate, make long stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, next, one, two, three, four, five, six times yarn over. Insert hook to the bottom part of this stitch to the middle, below two threads, and make long stitch step by step. Now five times yarn over three, four, five, make them all close to the top of the hook. Insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch, and start to make this beautiful long stitch again. Now four times yarn over, one, two, three, four, and start to make the stitch to the bottom part of previous stitch in third hook and make slowly. Now double treble crochet, one, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the bottom part of previous stitch, make accurate stitch now, like this, two times yarn over and make treble crochet. One time yarn over and this will be the middle stitch, just double crochet. So we have seven stitches and now we start to make second part and like you know now we start from double crochet, make this stitch to the same point where we have previous double crochet. Insert hook and make double crochet. Two times yarn over, now we will make treble crochet. like. So you said to me, it's really nice to, to just to receive some help. To the next point, make treble crochet. After double treble crochet, so start from three times yarn over. Now four times yarn over, one, two, three, four. To the next point, insert hook and make long stitch. Now five times yarn over, three, four, five, and make long stitch. And the last stitch will be with six times yarn over, four, five, six, close to the top of the hook, and make this last long stitch, and finish to make this last leaf. Uh, now six chain loops. You make it look so easy, great, 
but it, it's beautiful so easy but it look beautiful thank you so much Gina thank you for comment uh, also please everyone if you can write something to the chat uh, do you uh, like it um, do you try to make it at your home now in this moment uh, and what you feel everything is okay or not just tell me please how are you doing and five times here and over I will just finish to make last step the last interesting stage two times double crochet now if you can just please write to the chat something are you sleeping are you crocheting maybe are you drinking some tea or coffee I don't know what time you have now <laughs> And now I finished this last stitch and we need to make joining to these stitches and we should think about how to finish this last part because we should uh, have nice placement of hook when we will start next row and what we need to do let me see so okay it should be like switching loops and treble crochet like in previous one one two switching loops two times I am I am observing from Linda, not sleeping. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you so much. And now insert hook to the top of these uh, stitches. Yes, big stitches. We have here like middle or top point. Below few threads, two or three threads, just to really good fix this thread. Yes, not one thread. Uh, Susan, I cannot... Ah, uh, drinking! Uh, Linda, wine, I think. Great! <laughs> uh, Susan, I see a comment. I can do the leaves, okay, but I'm stuck on the second part of the bit between them, the long chains. I will have to watch it again. Uh, okay, so about this long... Uh -huh, I think about these chains, yes? It's not easy to make them, for me too. But uh, yes, you can watch this wo uh, video once again just uh, this direct part and try to make it just a few times for me it was difficult too only at the last time <laughs> last part i made made it does it matter what size thread uh, that is used uh-huh about thread it's it just uh, works like this if you take uh, like my threads of fear looks and you can use 1.75 millimeters or two millimeters crochet hook and will be okay if you take another thread not so thin it's not a problem just you need to take the right size of hook yes i don't know uh, two and a half millimeters and uh, you will receive the same beautiful result just you will have bigger uh, table clothes from another threads so i like to use tender threads uh, very thin threads that's why i am using such one it's very nice i see comments thank you so much Lean, I am drowsy with not try the tricky bits while I wake up. <laughs> thank you for comment. I know it's uh, not good time for crocheting at, at Australia, but thank you for watching and for your comments. It's really great to see you here. So, about last part, I made switching loops and now two times yarn over make the last treble crochet insert hook to the top of these long stitches and just make treble crochet not too tight you know it should be like middle distance here this switching loops should have the same distance like this treble crochet in this way we will start from the middle part and it's really good Season I won't start till after Christmas, but cannot wait to get started. Thank you so much to you. I understand Christmas time, gifts and family, everything. <laughs> I am crocheting also from Yolanda. Great. I am sure that your result will be really great. And you will not make so many mistakes like I did. <laughs> so it will be nice. I see comment from Wania Monte. Thank you so much. I see your hearts. Really nice to receive such messages too. Very cheerful and very, like, uh, very kind. Thank you so much. 
So what do you think? We can start new row or we can uh, finish at this row? What do you think? I will wait for your um, just um, wishes. You can say your advice is at the comments. Or do you want to make one more row? Start one more row or it's okay for now, for today? Because it's already one hour almost. And you can decide what you want. Next row is also really big. And... Um, we can make like first yes, first two corners and you will know everything and you will finish it by yourself. Like this it can be. And be careful with these chains. It should be like after ironing, uh, it should be beautiful, yes, square shape of this part. So be careful with this six chain loops everywhere we have at the corners. I see Lynn, I love the pattern, I love the corner and have done the tricky bit in one of the pieces in Amelie. Yes, it's true, it's uh, similar to this element. I think a Dion motif we have at, at address Amelie. Amelie, yes, great. So, I will wait for your this, uh, what you will decide, <laughs> what you want. Are you tired or you want to continue to work? And I will just look how to start the next one. It's not so easy to start the next row because we need to start from the bottom part and move move up. So it's like this. I see I, I made here 16 loops after 5 chain loops can be also. So let's see, can I start it or not? And I will look to this, I will show you this part, what we have. So we just made these beautiful leaves at this part. And now we should start this one part. And when you start, you need to make first beginning after uh, join this two double treble crochet and uh, after start to make this all stitches. So you need to finish all this part, only after this we can move up, I think, like this, at the beginning. Yes, please. I am good to continue. Okay, if Linda is good with this, we can continue. So let's try to make it. This beginning, it's not so easy. I will try to make it. So I try a few times, six or five chain loops. Let, let me see. I will uh, try to figure out how to make it. So one, two, three, four, five. So five chain loops and now two times we need to make a double treble crochet. Okay, six chain loops, that's why I made, because now we need to make three chain loops, uh, three times here and over, double treble crochet. Now go around this arch and make double treble crochet. But don't finish the stitch, yes? You should have two loops on your hook. Again, three times here and over and make double treble crochet. And again, don't finish the stitch, you should have three loops on your hook. In this moment, like I understand, we should make the same around next arch. So three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch again. Three times yarn over and again make double treble crochet. And the last time, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. So now we need to join everything together. So one time yarn over and join everything by one thread. Next we need to move up and I will make switching loops to move up. One, two, three. So this will be our beginning. Next time we will make everything in different way because we will have chance to make a long stitch, yes, in this part. When you start you cannot make this big stitch, so that's why we should make something like this. I see new comment. I am okay too. We'll we'll st sort out the other bit later. Okay. So thank you, thank you so much, Susan, for your comment. We will continue to work this row. So now we have three chain loops to move up. After uh, we need to go to the left. So six chain loops more. One, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Okay, it's ready. Uh, now. This big stitch, uh, it's like five times yarn over, or the same like we did before, six times yarn over. I need to check, let me see, five times, okay, I see now clearly five times. One, two, three, four, five, close to the top of the hook, around the same arch, start to make this long stitch. 
make a loop, next yarn over and draw a thread through two loops, again through two loops and once again, three times like this. Now we need to start double treble crochet around next arch. Three times yarn over, insert hook around this arch and make double treble crochet. Don't finish it. You should have two parts the same. Now yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops, again through two loops and the last one. And finish this difficult stitch. Uh, now we have six chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Be careful, make them not too tight. Uh, I see a comment. Uh, from Linda. I cannot uh, tell you how much I love these long stitches. <laughs> they are so delicate and elegant. Thank you so much. Uh, really interesting. Uh, just uh, zokes. Uh, thank you. Uh, really nice to know about this. <laughs> I think uh, that they are not so easy to make, but I'm very happy that you like them. Thank you. Uh, from Lynn, yes, I can understand what you have done, just got to remember for later. Okay, so you will have chance to watch video if you need some parts uh, once again on YouTube channel. This will be, we will have record of this workshop, will be nice. So, I made this one. Next, what I need to do? After 16 loops, we will work at the corner where we have this all stitches. So, I just hope we have the right number. Number is right, we just had a mistake. It's with number of yarn over, yes. Okay, so now uh, we will work as a, with first long stitch with seven times yarn over. So now what I need to do? Five, five times yarn over. One, two, three, four, five. Make them close to the top of the hook. Insert hook below two threads to this long stitch. Yeah, yarn over, make loop. Now work like this, yarn over. Draw thread through two loops, again through two loops, and third time. Okay, now start to make double treble crochet. One, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point, make a double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. One, two, three times yarn over, and make again double treble crochet, don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over and draw through three, three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, two loops and again last time and finish to make the stitch. Now 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. We will make the same, just we need to skip one stitch in our beautiful leaf and go to the second one, yes. So five, five times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, skip one stitch, go to the next one, insert below two threads and start to make this long stitch. Make three times like this, okay? Stop in this moment and make three times yarn over, start to make double treble crochet. And again, three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet. Now yarn over and draw thread through three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two loops, two loops and finish to make the stitch. Now 16 loops again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops, start to make the same, 5 times yarn over, 5, make close to the top of the hook, skip one stitch, go to the next one, insert below two threads and make again 3 times like this, draw thread through two loops. In this moment start to make first double treble crochet to the same point. And again, three times yarn over and start to make double treble crochet. Okay, now one time yarn over, draw thread through three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two loops, two loops and two. Finish to make the stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six chin loops. Now start to make the same, this will be the middle one like this stitches, we will make it to the double crochet that we have in the middle of the sleeve. Five times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, in s just skip one stitch, go to the middle one, insert hook below two threads and start to make long stitch. 
Now from this part start to make first double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch. Again three times yarn over to the same point insert hook and make double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch, yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook. Next yarn over, draw through two loops, two loops and finish to make the stitch. So we have this four, the same, yes, beautiful combination of stitches. At the other side, symmetrically, we will repeat three like this more. And this will be beautiful corner. Three, four, five, six chain loops. Uh, next, skip one stitch, make five times yarn over and go to the skip one go to the next one stitch insert hook below two threads yarn over make loop now yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and again now in this moment stop and start to make double treble crochet don't finish the stitch again three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet now make yarn over draw through three loops on your hook Again, yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops and finish to make a stitch. Now again, six chain loops, very accurate, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five times yarn over. Skip one stitch, go to the next one and make this half of this long stitch. Start next to make double treble crochet. And the last stitch is yes, double treble crochet don't finish it and now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops again through two loops and finish this stitch the last one so start from 16 loops make five times yarn over for five skip one stitch and just go to the last stitch that we have in this beautiful leaf insert hook and make half of this long stitch yes next three times yarn over make double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch and again double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch now yarn over draw through three loops yarn over draw through two loops two loops and finish to make a stitch now we have this really fantastic result i love this part of this uh, tablecloth and we will have such parts yes at the last row also and that's why this design is so interesting and beautiful i think i see a new comment from susan the long stitches are very clever i really like them great i'm very happy that a lot of people like such stitches uh, it's I, I love to make them too, uh, you know, but I was afraid that people will not like such difficult word, work But now I know that you love such stitches. It's really great Thank you for your comments. It's really interesting to know So uh, what else we need to know from this Scheme from this row row number four we are making now So let's see after this on the graphic I see 16 loops 1 2 3 4 5 6 chain loops next we will repeat the same difficult stitches so we start from five times yarn over yes 1 2 3 4 5 make them close to the top of the hook now we will work with this arch go around make loop next yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and two loops in this moment start to make double treble crochet around next arch don't finish it so now we have this part yarn over and join two threads yes like this yarn over and draw thread for two loops two loops and finish to make this difficult stitch after this what we have on the graphic let me see ah okay now we have this interesting part uh, when we started we have another variant because we started from the bottom part now we will talk uh, we will work from the top part so let's try to make it it's a really interesting stage so first i need to make five times yarn over one two three okay sorry i forgot about 16 loops one two three four five six chain loops now five times yarn over three four five make close to the top of the hook go around the same arch around this one where we made this last stitch and now 
make loop around yarn over and row through two loops again through two loops and last time from here make two double treble crochet around the same arch three times yarn over make first double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch again three times yarn over make a double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch okay in this moment we have very interesting moment we need to make three double crochet on the next arch so three times yarn over go to the next arch make around first double treble crochet don't finish it again three times yarn over around the same arch make double treble crochet and don't finish the stitch and the last time three times yarn over double treble crochet around the same arch and don't finish the stitch now we have a lot of chain loops on the, on the hook make yarn over and draw thread through six loops on your hook just through all the stitches six stitches we have like this join them next yarn over and draw through two loops again throw through two loops and finish to make a stitch so this is the most difficult stitch I think here just to catch the size of all the stitches I mean because uh, you can stretch some loops and in the end you will have really not good result you will have big holes and it will be not good so this was the most interesting to make uh, now we have 16 loops and symmetrically we need to make the same like we have here two stitches at this side so let's try to make it three four five sixteen loops we start from five times yarn over three four five next around the same arch here uh, start to make this long stitch yarn over and draw through two loops again two loops and the last two loops now three times yarn over go to the next arch and make a double treble crochet like this now yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and finish to make it uh, now we go to the corner one two three four five sixteen loops now we will work with this beautiful leaf and uh, we need to make five times yarn over close to the top of the hook it's very important to make it accurate insert hook to the first long stitch below two threads yarn over and make loop yarn over and draw through two loops again through two loops and again from here start to make double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch again three times yarn over make double treble crochet to the same point and don't finish the stitch now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook and now finish to make a stitch next 16 loops so one two three four five 16 loops make five times yarn over close to the top of the hook skip one stitch insert to the next one below two threads yarn over make loop next yarn over and draw through two loops one time second time and third time next three times yarn over make a double treble crochet to the same point don't finish the stitch again the same after join together these three stitches yarn over and draw threads through three loops on your hook yarn over and draw threads through two loops two loops and finish to make a stitch now 16 loops very accurate three four five six one two three four five times yarn over very close to the top of the hook skip one stitch go to the next one insert hook below two threads make loop yarn over draw through two loops two loops and two loops from here make double treble crochet to this point to the same point don't finish the stitch again three times yarn over and make long loop now join together three stitches yarn over and draw through two loops two loops and finish to make a stitch now one two three four five sixteen loops make five times yarn over 
Now go to the top of this beautiful leaf, for this skip one stitch and join to the next one, this will be middle one. Below two threads, yarn over, make loop, yarn over and draw through two loops, two loops and two loops. From here make a double treble crochet to the same point, don't finish it. Again double treble crochet to the same point, don't finish it. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops and again two loops and finish. So we have four. And now at the second part I will make symmetrically three like this the same. One, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Five times yarn over, be accurate, skip one stitch, you go to the next one and start to make half of this long stitch. Next make two double treble crochet and don't finish them. In the end make yarn over and draw thread through three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw thread through two loops, two loops and finish to make stitch. Now one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops, five times yarn over, skip one stitch, go to the next one and make half of this long stitch. Now three times yarn over and make double treble crochet, three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet. Now yarn over and draw through three loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops and again two loops and finish. Now the last stitch, 16 loops, 3, 4, 5, 6, make 5 times yarn over. After join to the last stitch, make half of this stitch, make next uh, double treble crochet to the same point and again double treble crochet to the same point. After this make yarn over, draw thread through 3 loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through 2 loops, 2 loops and finish this last stitch and we will get a really incredible beautiful corner. <laughs> really nice work. I like it. Now I think I, I made it much more better than previous part. So long stitches it's not so easy, you need to try a few times before you will make tablecloths somewhere else. Just take some small part and a few times try to make this long stitches, next just make your original tablecloths. In this way you will get really nice stitches. So after what we have, after this yeah, I will just make a small part because uh, I think we will have one hour and 30 minutes lesson, it will be nice. And uh, we will make just some part and I, s I hope you will finish to make this row number four by yourself at your home. Even row number five because it's very simple. It's just by using single crochet and chain loops. Okay, so let's uh, see next. After this we have 16 loops. One, two, three, four, five, 16 loops. Fantastic from Linda, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, next we have uh, five chain loops, five times yarn over, sorry, close to the top of the hook, insert hook around arch, make half of the stitch like this, three times yarn over, go to the next arch, make double treble crochet but don't finish the stitch. Now yarn over, draw through two loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two loops and finish to make a stitch. Uh, I see comment. They should keep us busy for a while. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> okay, next we have uh, 16 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16 loops. Now we have this the most difficult stage. I see, I see, I have some problems here. One second, please. Or not. Okay, I should make it another way. <laughs> Okay, I found mistake. Great, really great. I don't have this part here, so you see. <laughs> now, once again, I need to start one and a half hour of work. So nice. Uh, it's really difficult table close. So sorry, we need to stop. Just uh, I will show you the last uh, how to finish this row. And also, I want to start the last. Uh, yes, not last, the middle part we have the last very small row and this part I want to show you just how to make it. I will fix the thread, I will need to work again, make this part for the next lesson 
and I will do in our new thread another color just to show you how to make this row number five from small stitches. Let's see how to finish this row before I will start new one. I will just make some parts, just don't look what I am making, I just need to fix this thread for my work and I will show you how to finish this row and how to start next one. So I will make these beautiful stitches. Okay. Just five minutes and we will finish this lesson. <laughs> one, two, three. Now one, two, three, four, five, sixteen loops. Uh, now I will quickly finish to make this last five times yarn over. Half of the stitch I need to make here. Next double treble crochet around this arch. And finish to make this long stitch. And now I need to uh, make the last part, I think, yes, joining, yes, joining here. So for this, very simple, I see. I just need to make uh, 16 loops and slip stitch, I think, yes. So one, two, three, four, five, sixteen loops, uh, joining to the top. So we have here this all part, but we made switching loops to move up. So to this searching loop, we make joining by slip stitch, and from here make two chain loops to move up. After very simply, just around this chain, make a two single crochet two single crochet first, after picot can be from four or five chain loops, five chain loops, insert hook below two threads like this, finish to make picot, next three single crochet, one, two and three. Next skip the stitch that we have, go to the next arch and make, or oh, not skip, sorry, <laughs> I, I just uh, have different parts in my, sometimes I see it's not, I think it's not to, to the middle of stitch. I will check how I did it in my first... Yes, just around. I made it around. Don't look, some parts of graphic it's not good. So we have uh, three single crochet first around the next arch, yes. After make picot, one, two, three, four, five, and finish to make picot, make again three single crochet around and like this very easily make this contour around just go each time and make around each six chain loops three single crochet picot and three single crochet picot you can make from four or five chain loops so like this go around and from here we will make a new row i am looking to the graphic one second yes from here we will start new row I hope you understand how to make this part. Uh, you should get in the end such result, yes, uh, five rows. And I hope you will make it and just show me your results. Please do not make mistakes like I did it because one and a half of uh, work, hour of work is just uh, not good because I need to start from uh, that mistake again and make right number of stitches. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much for your all comments. It was really nice to talk with you. It was really nice to see you here all, especially Lin, <laughs> because you have so early hours at your place. Lin, I was so kind. Sue, and a lot of interesting uh, just messages. Thank you so much. Uh, Sue, and uh, also Yolanta, and uh, Gina, and uh, uh, for all of you, I want to say a big thank you. Uh, for your just attention, for watching, for comments, Anna also, this beautiful white flower, I don't know your name, sorry, Deborah also, uh, thank you so much, was really fantastic. And I see you at the lesson number three, we will talk about next parts and I will wait for your results at our free crochet patterns group, just don't forget about this. Uh, thank you, send you kisses from me, from Ukraine, and uh, take care of yourself and see you, see you at the next lesson. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>